requested Sun in the Sea with Fall of the Light. A couple of those dudes live in St. Louis. A couple of them live here in Nashville. So all you guys on Twitter who give me trouble about playing them, a couple of those dudes do live here. So special in-studio guests for the post-Halloween show. Yes, they've already eaten all my suckers and all my Halloween candy. But we've got Todd and Cameron from the band Grimsley Rose hanging out. What's going on, guys? Hey. And also we've got Chris here from Three Doors Down hanging out in the background. But yeah, so guys, thanks for coming out and hanging, man. You're the first guest I've had since the Halloween stuff. I, I did Halloween shows up until the entire thing. I think I took it too far, but but it was still fun. It was still fun. Yeah, it's good to be here. Appreciate you guys coming yeah. out, man. So uh, so you guys, obviously, we've been playing uh, Know My Name for a while now. I believe we're the first yeah. station to be playing that one, I think, right? right? Yeah, yes. yeah, we are. We claim, we claim it, we own it. All right. I love it. Yeah. But no, it's great, man. And I wanted to ask you guys... Um, it's been bothering me for a while. What what does the name mean? Like, what is what's the name mean? I've wondered that. I don't know if can you not say. It's no, up to no, you. no. Uh, Grimsley Rose was actually a, a a guy that when I was a young kid who introduced me to rock music, oh, and right to on. Black Sabbath and Zeppelin. He lived next door and and uh, you know played the records all the time, and that's that was my real introduction to music. And unfortunately, he was killed in a bar fight. And oh, I wow. remember being really little and upset about it. So. Yeah. Uh, I always kind of thought of him and and uh, sort of our or my tribute to, to yeah. Him, so no, it makes me like it even more. Actually. Yeah, I love when things have a story like yeah. that. That's rad. Yeah, man. even yeah. if it is a dark one. Yeah, you know the band right. name's the, the the toughest thing. Oh, dude. you know, uh, really to come is. up with. So uh, I just felt like that was uh, would be a, a cool thing to do. Right, so, on, man. Yeah. And I like how band names become something else. Like you could really pick the worst band name in the world if you wanted to, right? And eventually it becomes cool because it's your band, you know. Yeah, sure. But it's so great. How'd you guys? Because yeah. so, so I know you're from Nashville, and then yeah. you're from Lexington. So how did you guys come to be Grimsley Rose? How did this come about? We're actually, we're from neighboring towns. I'm from Kentucky, too, and basically, uh, I think it was destined to happen. <laughs> me, and, yeah. me and Todd had played in our own bands for years, and finally our, our paths crossed, and yeah. we thought we, we should give it a shot. Yeah, we're both from the, the hills of eastern yeah. Kentucky, so oh, right. uh, one county over, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, just ran across each other, and... and uh, started writing songs together and it's been about a year now so right on, yeah. yeah so we're, yeah. we're excited i love it so. now you guys are here we're hanging it's perfect yep. yep well i guess let's get into some tunes from the record if you guys are down yeah absolutely. we're going to do the one we've been doing for the last couple weeks i get a lot of requests for it every time i play it so it's oh. it's really been a good response and uh it's a great tune this is a uh, know my name by grimsley rose ah yes know my name by grimsley rose who happens to be in the studio what's going on guys hey just hanging yep how yeah. was you guys halloween by the way did you guys do anything cool uh, no, I, really. Yeah, my daughter uh, <laughs> dressed up as, as Angus Young this year. Oh, wow. So that's she, awesome. she was, uh, yeah, that was, my, that was my focus. Dude, yeah, that's which, so much yeah, better than the uh, Frozen costume. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess yeah. my Halloween was at the Foo Fighters show. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, with yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Right on, we man. Barely got into that. Oh, yeah. dude, it wasn't easy. It yeah. was not easy, that's for sure. It was yeah. cool, though. Right yeah. on, man. Three hour set. You can't beat that. Yeah. For three yeah. Hours. yeah. <laughs> Both of us were like, oh, yeah, whew, we oh, love man. you guys, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> three a.m. Yeah, yeah. That's a long time, man. Especially with the whole movie before it, like the documentary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, wow. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. so fun. Awesome man. show, though. But so you guys now, uh, obviously Nashville slash Lexington. We talked about yeah. the Green Lantern, which is a great place to play. Right. And right. Uh, and what's the other place? The bigger one, Buster's. Buster's is right. a great place too. Right on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. You guys gonna do any any dates coming up soon? You think? Maybe do a little Green Lantern. Maybe Buster's. Probably both. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah, yeah. yeah. Both of them. Yeah, we're gonna start uh, hitting it heavy in January oh, right. uh, throughout the region. So nice. we're gonna Nashville, Lexington, Louisville, Cincinnati. Right on, and, man. Uh, whoever will have us. So. <laughs> Hop in the van just in time for the winner. That's right. Just in time for it. <laughs> I love it. So I guess we should bring it up. Uh, also, like I said, Chris from Three Doors Down is in the studio, and he uh, produced this record that is coming out. So I guess how did all the, how did you meet these guys? How did this all come about? Um, I actually worked with Todd in another project on another project um, about, what, two years ago? Yeah. Someone did was it for the Miami Heat or... Is yeah, it? yeah, we did a, uh, my former band did a, a song for, uh, actually uh, a dual song called Heat Rising for uh, Miami Heat and, and then University of Kentucky Basketball. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, my brother-in-law is, uh, is Jimmy Flint um, of Hustler Magazine, and, and uh, Jimmy had a, a buddy, Chance, uh, a fellow named Chance who knew Chris, and uh, brought us all together, yeah, yeah. introduced us, and we decided to uh, to get together and write a song and and it worked out great. So, right on, man. Yeah, and this when this project came up, Todd called me, and I was like, "Yeah, of course, man. Let's get together and do it." Because Todd has a really clear picture of what yeah. he wants the record to sound like, which yeah. makes the producer's job about 100 percent more hard. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, let's try this. No, yeah. <laughs> no, it actually, it actually makes my job a lot easier. It's a lot of fun. Great yeah. guys to work with. Right yeah. on, man. Mutt Strickland. Yeah. <laughs> right on, dude. No, I love it. And like I said, I mean, we, we get so many submissions since you know in, and so uh, whenever I got your guys' stuff initially, I was like, man, this is great. You know, oh. it was, I got you guys the same day I got this other band, and uh, both of you guys were killer tunes. I was happy to put in oh. there, but. So I guess we're going to get another song, I'll Follow You, which I yeah. believe Cameron wants to make a dedication for this side. <laughs> right. We'll send this one out to my friend uh, Hayden. Right on. So I'll Follow You. Well, this goes out to you, Hayden. This is I'll Follow You by Grimsley Rose. Currently wrapping up his Norway tour. It's a local buzz favorite there with Jace Everett with No Place to Hide. And hanging out in the studio, as I was saying earlier, is Grimsley Rose and Chris from Two Doors Down. Just hanging out, eating Halloween candy, talking about you know Halloween stores. Dude, that is really rad about your daughter, though, dressing up as Angus Young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the amount of frozen yeah. kids you see is just insane. <laughs> I haven't even seen that movie, but I hear it's you know pretty cool. Yeah, both my girls are uh, huge rock fans, so <laughs> they, uh, uh, this my youngest uh, Amelia, her first show was uh, when my former band opened for Heaven and Hell. Oh, nice. So she's she's been uh, thoroughly. Uh, you know, indoctrinated <laughs> properly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. So, that's what yeah. you gotta do. You, know, you gotta get yeah. them started young and get started right. Yes. That's exactly. awesome. Yes. So you guys, uh, you just said you finally completed the band. So is it gonna be a four-piece, a three-piece? Yeah, piece, or? we got a four-piece. We've got some great musicians. One of my best friends in the world, Luke Unker, he's playing bass. Oh, nice. I'm so happy we got him in the band. And then we got Trey Bledsoe, which mm -hmm. is... Uh, you yeah. found him. Yeah, Trey and I go way back. He's on the and, drums. Uh, yeah, he's uh, the band. I'm I'm so happy with yeah, the band. Yeah, they, they, yeah we took we took our time. Cameron and I took our time to find the right guys, and uh, yeah, we've we've all been through as you guys have as well. Yeah, you know the, those yeah. situations. So we really wanted to do our very best to yeah. oh, cover all the bases. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We're, we're really happy. Build it right from the ground up. Yes. We really went for good guys. I mean, you can get the best players, but we all got to get along, and that's oh, that's the best part right now is we're all. I don't know. We seem to click. It's it's yeah. Good. Especially if you're gonna pile on a van in January. You know, yeah. you can be able to get along with everybody. I'm better. You know, if you got that one guy who's not cool, it's like, oh man. Oh. Next interview will be fist fighting. <laughs> that's right. You'll <laughs> be able to cut the tension. Again. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it has happened before. So we've got some tracks in the CD. This is track number three. And right. what is the name of this track? This one's called "Wasting My Time." A Grimsley Rose. Check it out. Some more Grimsley Rose who are actually in the studio right now. What's going on, guys? Hey. And what was that track called? Wasting my time. Dude, that's a rock and two man. solo yeah, at the end there. Yeah. It's crazy. I like that. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's what more rock nice. radio needs. More yeah. solos like that. Yeah. yeah. We're old school. <laughs> <laughs> You're right school is what I call it. All right. That's what I call it. Yeah. But dude, uh, so uh, future plans for you guys. Uh, I know you got to doing some shows in January. And the album's already out, which is on iTunes. And um, any physical copies going to be pressed? Or? Yeah, we're going to do... Uh, uh, four or five thousand copies it'll be uh, ready to go probably in two weeks uh, we're gonna have a new website uh, up and running grimsleyrose.com and um, right now facebook and instagram uh, and twitter at grimsley rose uh, so you can find uh, everything uh, there and uh, yeah and we're gonna start uh, start touring in probably in january Wow, and uh, yeah, pretty excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. How do you guys feel about? Uh, I, I always ask bands when they come in about this. How do you guys feel nowadays about Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and everything being so like important that you get to do that stuff? Like, how do you guys do? You like it or do you find it annoying? Because some bands hate it, and yeah. other bands like love it. You know, I, I kind of like that we get to control it. The only problem is, it's just there's so much out there that it's not exclusive anymore. You know, yeah. your friend didn't tell you come to the show. Facebook told you or, or something else. So that's the tough part. But yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, noise, <laughs> oh, no <laughs> pun intended. <Yeah. laughs> no, it's definitely true, man. I, th I think it's one of those things where it's a good, it's like it's a double-edged sword. It's a good era for yeah. musicians because there's so much more control you can have. Right. But then it's also like you have to have that control, you know. Yeah, sure. Exactly. But some guys, I mean, I think it, the trick is being funny because the funny dudes get yeah. all the followers, yeah. man. Yeah. You make people laugh and everybody follows you. They forget <laughs> you're in a band, but they will follow. We'll you. write that down. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta hire like a comedy writer. Absolutely. <laughs> some from we... SNL or something. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, former band members. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, Todd, Cameron, Chris, yeah. I really appreciate you guys coming yeah. and hanging, man. Yeah. And uh, check these guys out. Grimsley Rose, they're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. New website coming soon. Right. And check out, what's the record called? It's called The Truth to Power. Love it. Yeah. And this last track is uh, Tomorrow Wakes a Fool. Right on. Get and this. Uh, we want to thank you, Andy, for having yeah, us. Dude, thanks, thanks for appreciate coming it. in. Let's, yeah. We're going to play this track, and everyone listens and go to iTunes right now and buy it. Yes. But thank you guys for hanging. Right. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right.